first job out of the gate, 100% remote. Yes. And you said 65k, right? Yes. You realize you're ahead of the game already. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this week's video, I'm catching up with my former student, Connor Brown. Connor is off to a great start to his career. But today, we ask the question, what's next? And delve into what the next five years of his working life might look like. What have hey. you been up to? Well, just working. Just started uh, in June right after I graduated and uh, started working as a pricing analyst for a company based out of Chandler, Arizona. And uh, been working there for a little over a year. First job out of the gate, 100% remote. Yes. And you said 65K, right? Yes. You realize you're ahead of the game already. Yes. Which is, which is funny because you're like, you saw that vlog with Christina and you were like, no. Yeah, 90, I gotta beat her. 95, that's that's a goal that's gotta get beat. So just a quick update from one of my previous vlogs. So Christina secured that offer. So she got a $95,000 offer to be a marketing analyst. Now the only catch here is that it's a contract role, so she's a little bit on the fence on whether she should stay put at the 82,000 and have you know a secure job or take a little bit more risk and go for the six month contract at the $95,000 mark. Tell us a little bit more though about um, what is a pricing analyst? So we get quotes from customers looking to, um, for us to manufacture a product or test any product. And then we look at previous actuals and get advice from uh, engineers and uh, our customer team and figure out how to price out um, whatever the customer is requesting. Cool. Okay. So what tools are you using? Like what's your tool stack? So we're looking a lot at previous actuals. We have some software. ProPricer is one of the applications we use for projects that are over $2 million. Do you have any thoughts around, do you want to go more technical? Are you enjoying kind of the business? I'm enjoying more of the business side of it. That's okay. uh, one thing that I was a little unprepared for was moving just straight from a math degree kind of into the business world. So I had to learn more about the business side of things rather than just the strictly mathematical models that I've been working with. One other thought that uh, you know we've been talking about over the past week or two is uh, potentially you going and getting an MBA? Yes. Right, because you've already reached out to HPU, right? Yes, I did. So and tell us about that. Yeah, I reached out to uh, one of my old professors at Greensboro College who's uh, working there at High Point now, who uh, is running the MBA program, and reached out, learned more about their specific program they have there, the concentrations they offer, and uh, I think I'm going to apply and uh, see if I could possibly get an MBA through High Point. Right, which I would say High Point's a solid decision, and that I know personally that they have an incredible alumni network. So, um, you've already reached out to Devin, yes. who is, I mean, we're actually kind of creating this like Greensboro College to High Point pipeline. And that, for those of you who are listening, Devin Summers was in my program back a few years ago, and he just graduated with an MBA from High Point, and now just landed an analytics position at NASCAR, which is a huge win. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, I think that's how I would think about grad school is what network am I buying into? I mean, yeah, you will learn about business and about, you know, analytics if you want to do a, an MBA with concentration in analytics, but functionally speaking, it's a great, it's almost like a fraternity or sorority where you buy into a network. And yeah. then that really, really can help your future prospects. So ultimately, my recommendation for Connor is that I think he should go ahead and pull the trigger on getting an MBA with a concentration in analytics. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out the channel as I have over 200 videos related to analytics and the analytics industry and how you can navigate your career.